All right, welcome to our wood showroom. I wanted to introduce you to our wood specialist, Frank Durzo. The nice thing about the, the uh, pre-finished floors is that you can easily remove and replace a plank. Uh, basically what you would do is uh, you, you, you get a skill saw, um, you, you make a couple of uh, cuts in it right along the board, you chisel out the board. Um, what will happen is, is now if we got two boards, what we can do when we're doing the replacement is we will shave the back part of the uh, groove side and now because that part is gone, when we are popping the board out, we can remove the one piece and then we will install the new piece by just sliding that tongue into the groove of the other board and then this board will just drop right down. Our number one seller here at Stone Style, this is our Cafe Latte. Um, this is our Cafe Caramel as well, which is another very popular color. Um, we're finding that the neutral colors, the light colors are working really, really well with the design of the entire uh, home. Um, you can work with whatever color paints on the walls, whatever color furniture. So that's kind of where we're going with it now. Um, who knows where it's going to be in a couple of years, but uh, I feel like those natural colors are very, very traditional and will last the test of time. When it comes to engineered, um, as we know in our wood industry, is wood is a natural product. So what tends to happen is the big fluctuation of relative humidity in our climate here in Ontario and across Canada, um, it's going to fluctuate high and low. The increase of relative humidity, hardwood wants to expand. With the uh, decrease of relative humidity, our hardwood wants to contract. Uh, the difference between engineered hardwood and uh, solid is, um, engineered is produced uh, for that purpose specifically. So what happens is, is you've got your hardwood layers um, on the top, and then you've got an alternating layer of hardwood that goes um, underneath. So when the wood wants to expand and contract, it always wants to expand and contract on the width. So what happens is, is this wants to move this way, this wants to move this way, and what will happen is, is they will remain stable because they were going to uh, battle each other with the fluctuation in relative humidity. The other thing too is, uh, which is very important, um, sustainability. Uh, a lot of the beautiful looking floors that we have are, are European white oak. Um, white oak trees take a lot longer uh, to grow than your traditional uh, surfaces that we use underneath. We, we use a lot of uh, Baltic birch, we'll use um, softwood uh, trees such as pine or spruce in the core, and those trees grow a lot faster. Um, and they're not as pretty to look at when we're, when we're dealing with hardwood floors. So that being said, you can get more yield out of uh, an engineered product uh, versus a solid. The other thing too is now, um, what happens is, is because it's an engineered, and we talked about that, that uh, perpendicular boards going uh, over each other, now what can happen is, is we can go with wider planks and longer lengths because of that stability factor. So a lot of the products that we're selling are wider planks. We're talking seven and a half, eight, nine, um, even up to 12 inches. So the nice thing about the engineered is you're gonna have that stability factor, whereas a solid floor, anything wider than a five inch with a fluctuation of relative humidity, it's gonna shrink or it's gonna wanna curl. Um, because of our winters get very dry, you'll see that solid floors, you'll get gaps right along the, the ends of the boards where your engineered floors are gonna remain fairly stable. So with that all being said, um, the benefits overall with the engineered we find is that people love that wider look. Um, and and that's, that's it in a nutshell, I would say. Yeah.